Hi, I'm Tika. Welcome to Everyday Ballet, where we bring authentic classical ballet principles, training, and style to everyday life. No matter your age, your body type, or whether or not you know anything about ballet, I am here to show you all about this gorgeous art form and how to bring ballet's grace and power into your life. In this video, we're gonna be doing a supported hip stretch here at the wall. Now, we will be lying down on our backs, and if you have a sensitive spine, you may want a towel or a mat to use. Also, if you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe, share, and especially set your notifications so you won't miss any of my ballet training. I'm just so delighted you're here. Let's ballet. This hip stretch that we're about to do is really excellent for stretching the outer hip. Now, these muscles out here are some of the ones that we use for our turnout, so this is a great way to counteract some of the tightness that may come from the rotation of the legs. So you're just gonna lie down on your back and place your feet on the wall. You're gonna wanna scoot your bum as close to the wall as possible. So with your legs up on the wall, the first thing you're going to do is take one foot and place it flat on the wall or as flat as you can. I have a little board here, so it's not going to work quite as flat as I would like it. And then you're going to take the other foot and you're going to slide the heel on the wall. And now you're gonna take that heel into your hand and place the, the hand on the knee and then you're going to take that heel and place it on the opposite knee. Now right here you may notice that the hips are starting to twist and just see if you can release the hips down on the floor here. In fact just take a couple of breaths here. Breathing in, feeling the tailbone nice and long, sending it towards the wall and notice any sensations you're starting to feel in that outer hip, breathing in. And exhale. And now, if it's available, you're going to bend the knee that's at the wall, you're going to bend it and slide that foot down a little bit more. Now right here, you may notice that the hips started to twist once again, or that you're feeling a lot more sensation on the outer hip. Again, see if you can release the hips evenly to the floor, taking some deep breaths here. Breathing in, exhaling, and breathing in, and releasing the hips, the chest, exhale. And again, breathing in. And exhale. And breathing in. And exhale. And now you're going to see if you can bend that knee even further. If not, that's okay. Just take some more deep breaths where you are. So if it's available, you can bend the knee even further. Notice how the tailbone wants to start to curl off the floor. See if you can release it towards your wall. So once again, breathing in and firming the core, releasing the head, neck, shoulders, releasing the hips, breathing in and exhaling. As you breathe in, see if you can breathe into the outside of that hip. And exhale. And breathe in. And exhale. Good. Now, very gently, very quietly, we take the hand to the heel and to the knee of that leg that is crossed, and just very gently, you can unbend that knee at the wall, gently lift that heel off, and place that foot on the wall. And I always like to slide my feet back up and just bounce out the knees a little bit. It gives the muscles a little jiggle and encourages them to release. 
Now we prepare for the other side. So once again, placing the opposite foot now flat on your wall. You can bend the knee slightly, and then you're gonna flex the other foot, dragging that heel down, and you're going to take the heel of that flexed foot and the knee, and you're gonna place that heel on the opposite knee. Now from here, you're going to slide that top foot down just a little bit, and just right here, finding that spot where you can feel that stretch just starting to happen. We're gonna try and release the tailbone towards the wall. So breathing in here. And exhale. And breathing in. And exhale. Just breathing into that hip. And feeling the hips nice and heavy on the floor as you exhale. Now, if it's available, you can bend that wall knee even further. Notice how you get a little bit more feeling in that outside hip, that stretching feeling. Three nice deep breaths here. Breathing in. Breathing into the outside of that hip. Exhaling, releasing the shoulders, the hips. Keep pointing that tailbone towards the wall. And again, breathing in. And exhaling and breathing in and exhaling and now only if it's available you're welcome to just stay here and breathe but if it's available you can go ahead and bend that wall knee even further the shin will come even closer to the chest and now try to release that tailbone towards the wall Feel the hips fully on the floor. And three deep breaths here. Breathing in. Really let the floor support you here as you exhale. And breathing in. Welcoming that stretch. Exhaling. And breathing in. And exhale. Good. And now breathing in, and as you exhale, you can unbend this knee, just slide that foot up just a little bit. You're gonna take the heel and the knee and gently lift that foot off and place it on the wall. And you can go ahead and slide those feet up. And I like to jiggle out my knees a little bit here to help with the release of those hips and the legs. And now to get out of this, you just simply just slide the feet down, the knees will come towards the chest, and you're gonna roll over to one side. This is a really excellent stretch for the stretching the outside of the hip and helping that lower spine to release. And I really like it because with the floor there, it makes it a little bit easier to try to release into the floor because you have that support. So that is a good hip stretch to do any old time. And uh, just remember to breathe and not go too far. And if you're looking for more structured ballet training, be sure to check out my ballerina body programs at everydayballet.com. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy dancing.